everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed a video all week. The videos that have been uploaded are old videos that were filmed a while ago. So today I'm finally filming a video and it is Saturday and Danny is gonna be flying back in from Nashville. So he was gone for a week for work. He just got a new job and he'll be working remotely, which means he'll be working from home. So that's awesome and no, no, come pain. sit. No, no. Riley won't let me film. This is my second attempt no at trying to film a and A. I have to film. We'll be done soon, okay? Come here. I'm gonna try to get through this pretty quickly so um, Riley doesn't get too upset with me that I'm filming. Okay, first, who's calling me? Oh, Danny's calling me. Wow. Hello? Filming a video right now. I'm filming a Q&A, but it's okay. We, we can talk if you want. Sorry, Danny called me. I have a feeling I'm gonna get asked what I'm wearing on my lips because usually I get a lot of questions about my lipsticks. I'm wearing Nutmeg Lip Liner by NYX with a Velvet Teddy by MAC over and I swear this is like my absolute new favorite lip combo ever. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with brown lips lately so I'm really loving it. Anyway, let's get started. How are you and Danny doing as far as being married? Has anything changed? Are you full-time mom or do you work also? Danny and I, we're doing good. Every relationship has its ups and downs, of course, and nothing has changed with being married. I mean, I don't really feel like it changes much. I feel like it's just more of a commitment, which we were committed to each other before we got married, so that's why we're married now. I don't feel like you have to be married. A lot of people don't like the thought of getting married, and that's totally cool. I respect that. I'm not one of those people that judges people based off of marriage or anything so yeah for us it's what we wanted and we're doing good are you full-time mommy or do you work also i do both i do youtube and i'm a full-time mom and honestly youtube isn't necessarily a job for me i don't make a lot of money doing it obviously i don't have that many subscribers like all these big beauty vloggers but I do make some money on YouTube, which is a plus because I love doing YouTube. So it is, you know, a little better than making videos and making absolutely no money whatsoever. So it is kind of like a job in a way, I guess. <laughs> so I do both and it's very hard and that's why I don't have videos on a regular basis and they're just kind of random because I don't really have a lot of time to film. What do you do any healthy cooking videos? Um, I don't cook. I mean, I cook, but I'm not like, I always look up recipes and cook them. I don't just make up my own things. Cause I'm not, I'm not a, a good cook. <laughs> Maybe in the future, if I come across something that I really, really like and want to share with you guys, then I will. What? Oh, I keep having to get up. See, this is why I don't film videos often, because I keep having to get up. What do you usually have for breakfast? It changes a lot. I was eating cereal a lot, and I know that's not the best choice, because there's just, I mean, it's always processed, even if it's the healthy kind of cereal. I was eating Cheerios a lot, and then I was eating Quaker Squares cereal, which is super delicious, but I'm not sure how healthy it is for you. And lately I've been eating fruit or smoothies, or uh, today I had an Eggo waffle, and that's so bad, because those are so bad for you. But um, this whole week since Danny's been gone, I just, I have been so tired and exhausted from being a full-time mom and from taking care of two cats that are crazy. They're not even cats, they're kittens still. And uh, so I've just been like so exhausted and I'm just like, screw it. I'm just gonna eat some freaking waffles. So I went to the store and I bought some waffles and yeah, so, cause I did not wanna make breakfast. Who inspired you to become a makeup artist or have you always liked makeup? Uh, okay, so I used to want to be a makeup artist and do makeup on other people. Um, doing makeup on other people is very stressful because it's a lot different to do makeup on other people than it is to do on yourself. And you just, I always, I'm the kind of person that gets anxiety really easily so if I, I might feel like someone might not like the makeup that I do on them. I just have always been into makeup. I've always liked it and then I just a couple years ago it just kind of started like getting more interesting to me if that makes sense so um, I've just started like collecting makeup over the last couple years 
and um, now I like to do tutorials and stuff sometimes. What are your daughter's funny habits or something funny, unique? that she does, funny or unique that she does. Um, she makes funny faces a lot and she has for a really long time and um, she's just, I'll tell her like make a funny face or make a silly face and she'll do it or she, whenever she's sad and she cries ever since she was a newborn, she'll stick her little lip out, she'll be like, while she's crying and it's the cutest thing ever but it's so sad. Um, there's a lot of other funny things, she's such a character. Um, Sometimes in the store when she'll hear music she'll just stop in the aisle and start dancing in front of people and like she just thinks it's so funny. She's just, she has the biggest personality ever. Which YouTube guru is your favorite? There are so many but I think I'm gonna have to go with Shanna because Shannon is just amazing. I love her videos. They're so bright and she's so bubbly and I just, I love her. Would you ever think about vlogging your daily life with Riley in it? Maybe, but I need to get a separate camera for vlogging first because my camera is, uh, this is a question I get a lot too, it's a Canon T4i and it is huge and bulky. It's like a professional camera so I can't really just take that around with me everywhere. I could but it's, it's a hassle and it gets heavy and it's just in the way and yeah. so. Maybe I'll look into getting a camera. It's something that I've been talking about actually for quite a while now with Danny. So are you and your sister still close and would you guys ever do a video together? I don't know if we would ever do a video together because um, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're still close I would say, but we don't hang out that much anymore. It's just kind of like at random times and like once in a while if that makes sense. Is motherhood easier or harder than you thought? Um, I think it kind of goes both ways for me. Sometimes it's easier, like things are really easy and like before when I would imagine it, I would I thought it would be hard. And sometimes it's really hard and stressful. It just really depends, but overall I would say it's easier than you think it is because before you have a kid, you think like the worst thing's possible and you're like, man, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be super hard and overwhelming and it's really not that hard and overwhelming like you thought it was. <laughs> what is the hardest part about being a YouTube makeup guru? Did you find it difficult to film yourself when you first started? Uh, it's so funny when people call me a guru because I feel, I don't feel like I'm a guru. I just call myself a beauty vlogger, but the hardest part about it is the fact that there are so many beauty gurus out there and a lot of them are a lot better than me, obviously. Like, I don't think I'm as good as a lot of people. And so it's really hard because there's a lot of competition out there, but you should never give up. You should always keep at it and eventually you will get better at what you do and yeah so that's how I see it and at first when I started yeah it was very difficult to film because I only had like a little camera like a little digital camera that I have to stick somewhere and film myself and I couldn't see myself like now I have this tripod and I have my camera and I have like a flip screen that opens up and flips so I can see myself so it's very easy and it's just it's so simple now. How old is your baby girl now? She is two. She turned two on November 7th. So yeah, she turned two not that long ago. If you have the power to change your eye color, would you stay brown or change them? I would change them to an emerald green. A perfect example of what that would look like is the girl who plays Jenna on Pretty Little Liars. Uh, if you don't know who that is, look her up. I don't know how to pronounce her real name but I'll put it right here somewhere but she has the most beautiful eyes I have ever seen it's such a rare color and her eyes are real too they're not contacts they are the most vibrant emerald green that I have ever seen in my entire life and I didn't even know anybody had that color eyes but they're absolutely beautiful what is some advice you would give teenagers in this generation I don't know that's hard I feel like a lot of teenagers in this generation are growing up too fast I feel like a lot of teenagers in this generation are partying and you know everything that I started doing when I was like 16. I feel like a lot of like 12 year olds and 13 year olds are doing all the things that I just started doing when I was 16. And um, I just, I would just say like, 
don't rush growing up because I did that like when I was around 16 and 17, whatever. I wanted to be older. I wanted to be an adult and it is so stressful because being an adult comes with a lot of responsibility and sometimes I just wish I didn't have any responsibility even when you don't have a kid because um, I was an adult when I didn't have a kid it's still a lot of responsibility you have to pay rent you have to have a job you don't live with your parents anymore probably hey wow my cat literally just got a paper bag from Tivana wrapped around his head and just bolted outside freaking out because he didn't know what was going on and <laughs> it's pretty funny. I guess another thing that I would say for teenagers, um, I know if Riley were a teenager right now, I would tell her to love herself and respect herself. Don't listen to other people who are going to try and bring you down and make you feel badly about yourself because people will do it. People will always do it and it's such a shame because people are jerks. People are big jerks and that's never going to change. I guess I would just tell her that that's a way for those kinds of people to feel better about themselves. They have to tear someone else down to bring themselves up and just tell her not to let it get to her because I think a lot of people do let it get to them. With that kind of mentality, it would just make you a much healthier person and prevent you from going down a road of depression or something like that because bullies are terrible. I know it's not that easy for some people, but I would try my best. How far away do you live from Desiree and do you guys see each other often? Have you met her kitten? Can you do a husband tag? And what are some best workouts to get rid of love handles? Ray and I live about I don't even know, like 20 minutes away from each other. She lives in Beaverton and I live in Portland. We don't see each other that often anymore. We were seeing each other um, often, but then for a while now, we haven't really been. Um, have I met her kitten? Yes, I have her kitten now. She's my cat now. Ray, it was just too much for Ray to handle. Um, she was working all the time. So she let us have her. Can you do a husband tag? I was actually thinking about doing one. I will have to write that down and schedule a time for that. And best workouts for love handles. Um, the best thing that worked for me was just, um, you know, jogging, a lot of cardio and weightlifting. Um, I was doing tons of squats and I was doing tons of running and also eating healthy too and lots of water. Basically, if you want to get rid of any kind of fat, you need to eat healthy. That's the biggest thing. Have you changed since you've started making videos to now? How? Oh my gosh, yeah. If you go back to my old videos from like 2008, I was such a little scene kid and I, I, it's crazy. Sometimes I look back and it's just so funny to see myself. I was, I was 16 at the time, I believe. It's just funny because I talked way differently too. You would have to go see to figure it out. I don't even know how the hell my voice changed. Tips for beginners and if you have an exercise routine, you do. So tips for beginners is take it step by step. Small steps if you're trying to lose weight or you know transform your body in any way because if you go hardcore like from the beginning, you're gonna get overwhelmed and you're gonna quit. But I feel like a lot of the time when people do that, it's just you're setting yourself up for failure. I know I have done that before and I've seen other people talk about it too and I always see people say just take it step by step and um, eventually you'll start to see progress. No, I don't have a specific routine that I do. Do you wanna have more children? If so, how many? I don't know. It's something that I'm kind of on the fence about still. Riley's already two. And I still have never gotten like that baby fever that everybody seems to get. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> like, yeah, babies are cute. And um, I enjoyed Riley when she was a baby, but I don't know. I just, I feel like I just want one kid. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. A kid is a lot of responsibility and I still have so many things that I want to do with my life right now. And I don't want to have to you know, be home 24 seven, um, nursing a newborn and taking care of Riley when I want to do those things that I want to do. Um, but if we ever do have another kid, it's going to be just one, but I'm thinking we're probably not. Um, and if we do though, it's going to be like in another few years or something. What are some of your favorite yoga poses to do? I don't really have that many yoga poses that I do. I don't do yoga as often as I would like to and I just, 
I procrastinate with a lot of things. So a lot of times um, I'll just do headstands because that's really all I am good at. Or pigeon pose. I'm pretty good at pigeon pose. I like wheel pose. I just love any kind of back bends. It just really stretches out your back and it feels really, really nice. And especially after you're done doing those poses, your back just feels amazing. Yeah, sorry, I'm getting so distracted now and I'm really tired. Oh. That was all the questions. If you guys want me to do another Q&A, let me know. Um, I, I do want to do some more tag videos. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see some, but I'm going to do some more. I just have to look some up and plan out when I'm going to film them because I already have videos planned for the next week or so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you guys would like. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Say bye.